Hi guys, welcome to this video. So this is an exciting video. I've got Harry here from Tabletop Banter. He's taking some time Hello. out of his busy schedule uh, where he's arranging, he's basically organising a heresy event this weekend, but he's taking some time out to share this with me. Here we go. So this is what we've got today and we're going to be unboxing it courtesy of uh, Boards and Swords Hobbies in Derby. Uh, they've been really kind to give this to me. Uh, if you want an extra 5% discount off their web store, go to my description, you'll find the link, and at the end of the video, you'll find the code to get that 5% off. Right then, I think we'll crack on and uh, get this opened. Right then, let's get into it. So I've made a little bit of a cut at the back here. Hopefully we can get it open. There we go. It's pretty exciting. Very right. nice. Ugh. It's a strange looking box. We've got the slip that comes out the side rather than a sort of normal board game box. Right, there we go. So, again, awesome pictures on the front there. That is nice, that's a nice yeah. box, isn't it? I think that's holding the sprues. You pop like it off the, to the side. Like the eighth box set, isn't it? Oh, yeah. In fact, I didn't get that. We've got this here, which is the core rule book, which is a beefy old thing. Look at that. That's got some proper girth to it. Just pop that over there. In the bottom here, we've got some more books. And of course, we've got the uh, the War Scroll cards as well. Oh, that's cool. I'll have a look at those in a minute. And then in the bottom here, we've got this insert. Ah, got the new version of the Whippy Stick there. We've got some bases and some more documentation. A sample chapter of a book. Some bases you can see there they've actually started putting holes in them so don't you imagine we've now got the pins on the models and we've got some more bases and some dice so we thought we'd start off by looking at the paperwork that's included and first up is this little nugget of fun which is uh, one chapter out of one of the soul wars books what mm. do you reckon harry it's a nice little book isn't it it's um introductory to the fluff and i know that the there's a lot of these stories coming out um black library Mm -hmm. um, so it's quite nice that they're instantly starting off with fluff, which is yeah. something we've we've not really had before in a starter set. So that's um, yeah, really nice to see from Age of Sigmar. One thing Age of Sigmar needs is a little bit of fluff. Uh, there's a lot in the actual uh, core rule book, core rule book as well. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Right, next up is this start here book. Uh, the covers are a little bit dark because of the lighting in here, uh, mainly because of that. Um, but what we've got in here, we seem to have a little bit of an introduction into the game as a whole. It tells you about the core rule book, the different armies that are included in here, and then the different things you need to start playing in the back there. So, Very fairly simple. Yeah. And then we've got a little bit of a, uh, a battle plan on the back there. Very nice. They're trying to throw bits of rules into every bit of uh, paperwork by the sounds of it. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, the core rules. Not to be mistaken for the core rule book, which is at the bottom there. Maybe they could have called them something different, but this is basically what you can get free online, which is up actually at the moment if you go to the, uh, I think it's the community site or um, Warhammer slash AOS. I'll see if I can put a link down in the description. I'd be interested to see if these are ones you can pick up in store as well, because I know that for the first release and for 8th edition, you could get the, the Battle Primer, I think, was very oh, yeah. similar to this. So it might be something that you can, you can grab as a physical copy in store. Definitely, because it's always good having a, a physical copy of uh, these these little bits rather than trying to look up on your phone all the time. I've actually uh, gone out of my way to get a physical copy of these for both 40k and the uh, the first Age of Sigmar as well. And this basically goes through everything. We're not going to go through the rules in this, it's just a simple mm -hmm. unboxing, but there's there's a lot more pages in this. There's 18 pages rather yeah. than the four from last time. And it's nice they've got pictures in here, so they're showing you know how combats work. Uh, and diagrams, yeah. Diagrams, so that, that you can visualise it a lot more, which is very, very nice. A lot less left to the imagination, that's for sure. <laughs> Right, so that's that. Next up, we've got the instructions for the models. The models we're going to look through in a, a moment. We'll get the sprues out and have a look. Nice Again, CAD instructions. Yeah, aren't yeah. They? It's always good when they do that, especially when they start putting these colour bits in so you know what you're playing with as well. <laughs> especially now the kits are very intricate, aren't they? And they're, they're sort of sliced in very oh, different yeah. ways. So it's really, really nice to see that. Definitely. Some really cool models in here. Anyway, we're going to look at that in a minute. So moving on. Next, what we've got is the... Uh, Battle for Glimforge. Glimsforge. Gl Glimsforge. Glims? Can't read. Oh dear. <laughs> so, uh, basically what this seems to be is a little bit of history on the Soul Wars. And then it goes through each of the uh, the units that are included in this box. So we've got the uh, <coughs> Storm 
cast, and then we've got some of the uh, gaunts, haunts, night haunts. It's a new setting, really, isn't it, for, for Age of Sigmar, and these are yeah. new units we're getting, so it's nice that they've... Um... Well, this this basically acts as a, a bit of a, a battle tome, really, doesn't it? Because you've got history on all of the different models, yep. cause it, rather than just having the, uh, the yes. war scrolls where you yeah. get... Uh, I think it's one paragraph on each of the war scrolls. And then at the back here, we've got the pitch battle profiles. Oh, not going to go into the rules too much, but we've got the rules, the the points there. So it's nice that you got the points for the models in here. It doesn't, it means you don't have, you don't have to wait for a uh, battle tome. Although it'd be interesting to see if that's actually included in the uh, in the general's handbook, which is coming out, I think, at the same time as yes. these. So yes, hmm. we'll expect to see most of that probably in the general's handbook. Yeah, what it does mean though is you can buy this box and you can use the models. Because uh, you've got their points without needing to buy straight away the uh, yeah. the general's handbook, which is nice. Absolutely everything. I think whereas the previous Age of Sigma starter set, when the general's handbook started coming out, y your starter set was no longer then yeah. everything you needed to play. You didn't have everything match match to play and things. That's and a you, good point. You were yeah. very limited to the scenarios that were in the book, and, and you couldn't you know you can alter your forces and, and and do the points yourself, which I know a lot of people like to play now. So it's certainly nice they put that in. Yeah, it's good that they've thought about the uh, the beginning players. The the sort of two friends who have bought this to uh, to play amongst themselves, and then maybe they want to go down the the local game store and have games with other people. They've got the uh, the ability to do that, which is good. Right now we've got this bad boy. I mean, look at the size of that. Thick. <laughs> it's proper girthy. Girthy. Girthy's a good word. Um. So what we're basically going to do is uh, go through the contents, <laughs> see if there's anything of interest, and uh, we'll, we'll maybe skim through and have a look at a couple of the really, really nice artwork, but just skipped that's, over some of it. There's a couple of lovely bits there, isn't there? Oh, that's yeah. nice, isn't it? Look that there. Again, the lighting isn't uh, perfect on this, but that is awesome. Santa Claus over here. <laughs> yeah. That's ace. That's an interesting looking Stormcast model, isn't it? That's awesome. Very nice. This little fellow on top of the dragon up there. Brilliant. Um, so basically what it does is it goes through some of the more general fluff on the first hundred pages and then you've got some more specific fluff for the different uh, different forces like chaos, death, destruction. It's nice that they're covering as well some of the what people now consider sort of the, the, the older so you've got you've got Skaven on here, and you've got Seraphon, and you've got all the uh, the, the old world oh, yeah. guys that we've not really seen much of yet. And, and so hopefully this is going to introduce their fluff and how they work in the new uh, in the new the new realms. Totally. That's then. Pretty cool. Totally. Then you've got the core rules, an introduction into the game. Uh, you've got some allegiance abilities for the the main uh, <clears throat> the main forces. And then we go into sort of the, the different uh, battle plans and scenarios you can play for open play, narrative play, and match play. This doesn't seem to have the points in it, um, which of course will be in the General's Handbook, so that's one thing to note. Really, you're only going to be able to play the armies that come with this expansion mm. um, using this book. It's also missing the War Scrolls as well. I'm not sure if they're going to be available online or not for free, uh, like we had in the last edition, but it'll be interesting to see anyway. I suspect so, yeah. Right, so let's have a quick look through, see if we can find any fancy artwork. Oh, oh that's, very nice. that's very thematic, isn't it? Mm. It's a very nice book, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice to see some... Uh... Wow, look at that. It's nice to see some of these darker pages as well. It gives the book a lot to... It's a really nice feel to it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this fella's jumping. It's definitely a rule, but you could spend a lot of time just flicking through and having a look at the... Uh... Yeah, stuff other than just rules. It's yeah. uh, very, very nice. We've got a bit of the actual models in here as well as the, uh, the other artwork. And the big fellas that they released fairly recently. And uh, the internet's favourite, Slimax. Right. Um, yeah, so just really nice artwork in here. Again, like I say, we're not really going to go into the rules or the contents because this is just a quick uh, unbox. You can see here we've got some of the battle plans in the back. Right, so that is the paperwork that came with the game. Next up, we're going to take a look at the models. Well, hey. Before we look into the models, we thought we'd take a look at the War Scroll cards. Um, more the artwork, because they've, they've started putting this really nice artwork on each one. And you've got some that fold out, which is pretty cool. Rather than shrinking Ooh. down the, the size of the font, they've actually uh, made it so they, they fold out, which is, which is a nice. good solution. It means that they stay the same size, and uh, of course you can find them easily by that stuff on the back. These ones here, it's a single card, right? These these ones are just single cards. Yeah. 
Um, so these are just all the characters and all the units that you get in the box. So you've got your your basic boys and ladies, I think. Uh, very nice. And then of yeah. course we've got some of the new... Yeah, this is the stuff boys. people are getting excited for. Yes, very, very nice, this <laughs> chap, isn't he? Who needs more Stormcast? What we wanted is these fellas. Yes. Yeah, these are very, very nice. And then we've got uh, the ones you've been getting excited about. <laughs> the, which uh, are the, uh, the Skaven. The Skaven. Yeah. The Skaven ones, which I is think really, really nice. They've well, got they, look, they look yeah. Skaven y, don't they? Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Awesome. We'll have a look at the fluff and uh, make sure they are Skaven y. But yeah, these these are really nice. And I really liked when they start coming out with these because it's just a nice bit of. Uh, you just easily reference it, can't you? You can put them on the side of the board. and Definitely. Very nice. Right, on to the second unboxing experience of this box. Uh, we've got this here, which should have the sprues in it. Again, lovely artwork on the top there. And inside, we've got some funky bubble wrap that you can't pop, which Harry was very disappointed about. Very yeah. annoying. Very disappointed. <laughs> we've got loads of bases. Again, they all seem to have the... Uh, the pins on, which suggests that all the models are going to have pins on their feet. It's a good step forward. Right then, so we're going to basically have a quick look at this and then we'll zoom in and take a look at each sprue individually. So There's tons and tons of plastic in here, yeah. isn't there? There's an it's awful lot lovely. of sprues. Absolutely lovely. So it looks as though each of the factions has got one of these big sprues They've for the bigger stuff. A faction specific sprue, which is very nice. And then each faction has also got one of these half size sprues for the uh, the smaller stuff, although Troops. this has got one of the big old griffins on it. So we'll get all these out and we'll have a have a closer look. For the sprues, we're starting off with the death. Yes, so you get two basic sprues with your, these are the chain rasp horde on them. So we can take a closer look at that one. Um, so that's these boyos. So we've got the candlestick holder, which seems very cool. I like that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, what cool bits and pieces we've got on here. There's some, a, lot, detail. a lot of character on these, isn't there? So... Oh, some really cool features with this sort of... I forget what it's called, you know, where they put them in stocks. Yeah, so we've got, got the guy in stocks. There. We've got the good old um, gravestones, which you seem to get on a lot of death stuff. I know the old skeleton kits, you had some mm. uh, little... Gravestones, you can put on a basis, so it's nice to see that. And I just love the candlestick guy. It's got <laughs> they've, uh, they've started adding chains to these. Just remember the skeletons and whatnot from from the old stuff. I don't think they had many chains on them, did they? And they're really nice looking chains as well. It's very, very nice. Really, really nice models. And they're that, they're that typical sort of, how the hell does this go together? But when it goes together, they're going to look fantastic. There's your candlestick fella. He's awesome. Again, with some flames. They love their uh, cad flames and they do. smoke. They do. So that's that's there's two of those, aren't there? So there's two of those. Um it's very nice that we get a split between the two um between the two factions. So all of the death stuff is on like one set of sprues and no one oh, yeah. no one shares any sprues. Because no, in past bo boxes they've always sort of mixed them up a bit, haven't they? Which I think made it difficult for them to yes. release the models separately. So on this we've got the Glaor Wraith Stalkers and the Grimgast Reapers. Um, so the two sort of special units. Are they? Um, so these are, these are your fancy Skaven guys. <laughs> fancy um, Skaven guys. And it guys. looks like they've got character on there as well, actually. Yes, we've got the Lord Executioner. Um, so he's here as well, and he's got his for hanging, oh, hanging people. Of course. That's a really cool model from what I've seen in the pictures. Hanging Nasty Stormcast. I'd love to there see a conversion of someone actually putting a little... Uh, That's brilliant. Little someone in that gibbet. I don't know if his gibbet does anything, that would be fantastic. I don't know why, but I always enjoy seeing plastic wood. Oh dear. That <laughs> sounds bad. Don't say on camera again, <laughs> Craig, please. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, it always they, they always do a great job of uh, of doing wood. And they're a lot bigger than I thought, these guys. They're really, really nice models. Some little skulls in the middle there. Fantastic. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, I'm seeing a lot of sort of slotty bases. As you can see, I don't know if that's part of making them easier to put together. Oh, we've got this mass here of... Uh, All the cad flames. Oh, the cad flames, or maybe these are ghouls. Oh, the little... Uh, oh, look at that, the little skulls. Oh, they're fantastic little skulls. Yeah, so that's yeah. what goes in the uh, ah. Lord Executioner. That's brilliant. So we can see here. Ah, of he's course. He's got his little skulls up and around here. Oh, he's just the best model ever, isn't he? Very nice. But this stuff is uh, push fit fantastic. as well. Fantastic. I think that's why we've got the slotted bases, ah, that, isn't it? That makes a lot of sense. So a bit like Shades um, Yeah, so you effectively just need the box... Uh, and some scissors, even, and, and you're away. Scissors. You can, yeah, you can scissor this. <laughs> so what have we got next? Uh, we've got the two big boys, the Guardian of Souls uh, and the Knight of Shrouds. Um, Very cool. 
both really cool looking models. Yeah. A lot of detail on here. We've got there? more sort of candles going on. More cad flames. <laughs> Who doesn't beautiful. like cad flames? The, the cloth work on these is just it's insane. Very, very nice. There's, oh, they've even detailed the uh, you got the, rib the ribs on the inside of the models as well. On the poor pony. <laughs> Who yeah. doesn't want that? These are really nice, and they look uh, look like they're gonna be really lovely to paint up. Lots of nice, um, lots of nice surfaces and things on there. That's Definitely. Ace. Those keys, they're pretty cool. Right, and that's the end of the uh, the death stuff. Next, we'll take a look at the storm. Yes. So again, exact same format. We've got two sprues here, uh, duplicate sprues, um, and these are your basic guys. Um, so we've got our castigators, which are the crossbowmen, um, kind of similar to what we've seen before, crossbow wise, but they're a bit, uh, they are a bit different, aren't they? There's a very different aesthetic on these storm. I really like it. I really like the robes and things. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we've got the castigators and the sequitors. The uh, sequitors, the fellows have these awesome hammers. Yes, very similar to these. It's the liberators, isn't it? They're sort of yeah. very similar to that. So they look really, really cool. Definitely. And again, put nice push fit models and things. I love the crossbows on these. Yeah. Really, really nice. They're uh, sideways on as well. Yes. So they actually, uh, they're like a, a bow meets a crossbow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I mean. So and that hammer there is awesome. There we are. Here's these crossbows here. Ah, Beautiful. Course, yeah. So there's two of those, are there? Again, lots of nice uh, cloth on that. They seem to be really going for this cloth aesthetic in this. Definitely. Uh, so this is the big sprue for the Stormcasts. Again, it's the same uh, same setup as we've got with their stuff. Uh, so we've got on here, I presume we've got the Evocators. Well, they've got a really we've big the, ballista the big, is the thing that caught the my attention. <laughs> ballista, yes, we've got that as well, haven't we? Which is interesting. We've not really seen, um, we've not really seen new war machines much, especially when they first start coming up with Stormcast stuff. It's, it is, this is the first Stormcast war machine, isn't it? I think which so. Is, yeah, um, really quite interesting. It's a really, really cool bit of kit. Yeah, and considering they've got their own uh, slot on the, uh... you got the. This is a fantastic detail here. We've got oh, a little yeah. sextant, a uh, little range finder. That's oh, really, is that really what cool. <laughs> And then we've got, uh, yes, yeah, the evocators, evoc ev evocators, I don't know, but these are the new sort of uh, mage-like stormcast, which look really, really, na really, really nasty, actually. Really cool. Yeah. Again, fantastic plumes and things on them. Something um, new, but something similar all in one. And the knight incarnators on here as well. Incarnator? I don't know, it's, sound like it's, it's sound a bit really silly, hard to tell who they are. <laughs> which is this, this, this leg uh, up here. Yes. Um, so it seems to be the same format as before, so we've got two of the special units and one of the characters on there. So we might see, as we've seen with the previous box sets, where they split them down and then they have a sort of a reduced, oh, yeah. they have a reduced set, don't they? Um, so then of course we've got the characters, and I absolutely Ooh, yes. love this. The Lord Arcanum. Um, and then was there another, oh. there's, another, there's another character that comes with this. He's no. probably on the other ones. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, definitely. The Big Lord. fat swords. They love their fat swords. They sure do. That's fantastic. I do like the bigger uh, the griff charger. Now that is one um, proud griff. Look at that face. Beautiful. These are really nice sprues, aren't they? That's some cool shoulder work. What we have come to expect. Definitely. From, uh, GW's latest kits. Right, I think that rounds out the uh, the rest of the sprues. Hopefully, you got a good view of all those. Well, there we go. What did you reckon? Really cool. Really like it. It's um, very, very different to the previous starter set, that's for sure. Definitely. But it's very, very similar to what we've seen from the 8th edition, 140k 8th edition starter set, where we get a lot more, um, we get a lot more, we've got more stuff in it, really. Mm. We've got all the, uh, we've got all the big rule book now, with a lot yep. of fluff in it. Yep. Um, which, whereas before we didn't really have much of that fluff, we didn't mm. really know what the units were, how yep. they interacted, you had to sort of look on the line, what is a stormcast. Yeah. It was, a, it was they had a, they had that start to play in there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, now you can really get into you know what my units do. Why why is their ability X Y Z and things? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, I think the the first edition of the game was basically just have everything you need to get started, and it yes. wasn't really focusing much on the meat of it. So it was brilliant mm. for getting into the game, but sort of the longevity of it really needed the fluff to be laid down, and yeah. that's been done to a degree. But I think this is a massive step in the right direction it's of huge, getting isn't that. It? Uh, Getting that on there. I feel like this this is the status that they always wanted. Yeah. And, and yeah. In, a, in a way, what we've seen over the past couple of years with with General's Handbook and things mm. has, has been a slow build up to this. Definitely. Um, and and it's and it is fantastic. It, it's everything that when people were looking at that first set, you know, the reactions of the people got to Age of Sigmar. Mm. It, it, it's everything 
it's everything to sort that out. You know, we, we, we get so much in and right off the bat, we've got uh, points. Yeah. Um, so which is which is nice. A lot of people like that. Like you said, you can pop down to your store and say, yeah. this is how many points I've got. Hmm. Um, yeah, definitely. Now, um, moving on to what's next. <laughs> uh, you probably noticed I haven't put any Age of Sigmar content up for probably what is about two months now. Um, we very much waned on that, didn't we? We've, we've, we've yes. moved on to other things. But I'm reaching a point where I've uh, I've made everything I need for the Horus Heresy so we can really start focusing on the different games. Um, this probably being one of them. Mm. Uh, so do you reckon this is enough to get you back into it? It's definitely got me a bit excited. I do like yeah. the... Uh... I like both of them, to be fair. It's, it's, it's a new been box a, effect, isn't it? It's a new box <laughs> effect, and it's been a while since I've looked at a starter set and thought, wow, like this is... Mm. And I really like both sides. Yeah. Um, you know, some of the starter sets that come up before, I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I, I could see myself picking that up, but this is one that I could really see myself picking up, and especially as I don't have that huge interest in Super Mario. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is... I can get everything, and you know, I can really get into my into the army and things, and it's it's really, really nice. Yeah, it'd be nice to get the old fancy back out again. Yes. If my if my lovely assistant Harry would pick up what we're going to cover next, which is in the next video, there's a bit of a fly flying around this place, annoying me. This is very nice, very nice um, box. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what's inside here. Yes, we've not um, had a look yet, so no. uh, that's going to be very exciting. <laughs> that's next on our list of things to do. Right, I think we've covered everything we wanted to. As I said at the beginning of the video, over here you'll see that there's the, uh, the Bash logo, which is Boards and Swords Hobbies. In uh, in Derby, and if I can just get it to come in front of me, there we go. Perfect. The bottom there is the code to uh, the web store. That's to get an extra five percent off if you wanted to pick up this or any other sort of war game stuff. They do more than just the games workshop stuff. They're a fantastic venue. Uh, we're very much enjoying going down there and oh, playing, aren't beautiful. we? You've got into it in a big way, organising an event which is going on this weekend for Horus Heresy. Yes. Yeah. Let's, let's not turn this into Horus Heresy. Exciting. Yet. Sorry. <laughs> It's hard not to. We've got two days until we go uh, we go to there. But yeah, so um, really enjoyed this. Uh, fantastic. As always, keep up with me in between videos over here. Sorry, try not to poke Harry. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys. Perfect.